My name is Dave Price. My wife Mary and I have been coming to St. Nicholas since 1986. I was asked to speak about stewardship, specifically why we give and why the church may be important to us. To fully appreciate my answer, I need to share just a little bit of my journey. I was born in Jackson, baptized Episcopalian. My family went to church pretty regularly until about my eighth birthday. The church got a new minister, apparently not enough like Billy Graham because my dad didn't like him and that was the end of church. When I graduated from the University of Michigan, I moved to Idaho to work. I only stayed there a year, but during that year I met and fell in love with one Miss Mary Dialina, a Greek from Pocatello, Idaho. Fortunately for me, she was not good at geography and agreed to move back to Michigan and marry me. We were married six months later. We didn't attend church much in those first few years of marriage. When we did, it was usually while visiting her family back in Idaho. But that all changed in 1985 with the birth of our first child, our daughter Andrea. Now we've got a kid. Time to get serious about church. But which church? We had three choices in Jackson. St. Demetrius, Eastern Orthodox Church right in Jackson, Holy Trinity in Lansing, and St. Nicholas in Ann Arbor. We chose St. Nicholas for reasons I will let you try to figure out. I could see when we started coming to St. Nicholas that church was very important to Mary. To me, it was more like time away from home when I thought I could get, be getting something else done. As we zipped through the 90s with now three kids attending Sunday school, it was not called church school then, Mary made sure they had great attendance. My attendance, not so good. As we approached Y2K, almost 15 years at this church, we had really only made a couple sets of close friends, the Engel Keys and the Balioses, and I take full responsibility for that. Not for having the friends, that's all Mary, for not having more friends. So what changed? A new century, a new church, and a need to pay for it. Penny McCarris and Joan Raphael signed the church up to do concession at Tiger Ball Games. Mary and I did several of these and met some very fine people from this church. All of a sudden, coming to church wasn't so much time away from home as it was a chance for me to catch up with the people I had met while doing those concession stand duties. Then the festival rolled in and I poured beer that first festival. Bury the tap is what I learned. I was a great beer pourer. Before too many years, Mary and I were chairing the Taberna, and we've met many, many, many fine people from this church doing that. Then one day, Chris Bacara says, hey Dave, you want to be an usher? And I'm shaking my head going, nah, 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 thinking I'm saying no. Apparently, nah means yes in Greek. Group B, here I come. Mary was soon to follow, and we've made great friends with Tom Romanis and Jack Fry as a result of it. So what I'm trying to say is what a father of a good friend once told me. He says, the more you give, the more you get. And that's so true. The more we've gotten involved with this church, the more we've gotten out of this church. So back to the question at hand, which you probably wonder why I'm taking so long to answer. Why do we give to the church? We give to the church because we want to support our spiritual family as well as our biological family. We give because we know that when the day comes and we need you, you will be there for us. And I hope that if the day comes and you need us, we will be there for you. We give because all those years when I struggled to find a reason to come through those doors, those doors, the people within them, and our Lord and Savior waited patiently for me. I was laid to the table. Thank you for saving me a place. We give because I do not want to take this church or what it has to offer for granted or our freedom to worship. Just ask Father Alex about his early years when he didn't have either of those things. So my stewardship message is this. Look for your reasons why you want to give to the church. Forgive whatever trespasses may be holding you back. And then give all of the time, talent, and treasures that you possibly can. You will never regret it. And just so we're clear, treasures is money. This church does not run on pixie dust. Thank you for listening to my story. One more thing. If you can't give right now, that's okay. We've got your back. My name is Dave Price. Thank you for listening. See you at church.